Hey, this is Marissa, Spencer, Jess, and, and you're, you're listening, listening to, to the MCTS, MCTS Experience. Experience. It's time for the MCTS Experience with Mr. Orr and Mr. Nash. Discover your passion and unlock your future. Welcome, everybody, to a very, very, very special episode of the MCTS Experience. Um, I'm flying solo today without my right-hand man, the great Mr. Nash, um, but we got three very special guests uh, that I want to introduce to our listening audience and to the rest of the world. Um, I'd like you to meet uh, Spencer and Jess and Marissa. Um, say hi, everybody. Hi. What's up? Hi. <laughs> That was riveting, you guys. Keep up the good work. <laughs> this is going really, really well so far. So if you don't mind, just, just so we get you talking a little bit, tell us, like, your name, your shop, maybe where you're from or, or what program you're in. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Marissa, why don't you start? Um, hi, I'm Marissa. Um, I'm from Nottingham, but I'm in the Culinary Academy. I'm a junior. Um, so in the Academy, what you're, else? you're with us full-time in the Culinary Arts Academy. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, how about you, sir? Uh, my name is Spencer. I take the landscaping or the horticulture and turf care management class. My home school is High School South in West Windsor, and I'm a part-time student here. Okay. And you're in 11th grade, yes? Yes. All right. And you, young lady? Um, my name is Jessica. I'm from Hopewell, and I take baking and dining classes here, and I'm a senior and it's part-time. Okay. Very good. Now, now each of you have some different plans. Jess, you're, you're a year older than these two. Um, so maybe I'll start with you first, if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about your your upcoming, you got a big year coming up, and you've already had a, a great uh, senior year so far. Tell us what's going on with you. Um, senior year is going really good. I committed and I am applied to Albright College, where I would be playing goalie for them next year for lacrosse. And going really good if I had to give any advice about senior year is to take action early don't wait till like the end of it to really be like okay well I want to go to Johnson and Wales so once you know May comes along then I'll worry about my application I would really say to you know take a really big step forward once you hit like the end of junior year and be like okay I'm looking into Johnson and Wales Albright cuts down and then go from there and then do that and if you want to play sports really get your footage along, reach out to coaches, and don't take senior year lightly. It goes by really fast. We're already putting in our, like, payments for our cap and gown. Wow. And my mind's already blown about it. Wow. It really does move fast. Yeah. But I guess you get to breathe a little bit easier now, having uh, having gotten the college thing out of the way. You've committed to Albright, right? Yes. It is way easier. I already see a lot of my colleagues, like, kind of worrying and stressing about, like, oh, my God. I don't know what I'm going to do. Their application fee is like due then. I have to get my application done now. And I'm like, oh, well, should have done that earlier. But it's way easier to get it off your plate now than Good. later. Good. Yeah, less stress. Yeah. But rather than now laugh at your friends and say, Haha, I'm done with all that and take it a chill pill, you're actually out there working too, right? Yes. You got a job related to your uh, shop, related to baking and dining. You're working uh, in, some kind of a, in some kind of a food job. Yes. Um, with the CIE program here, I'm allowed to go from the school day into my shift at Orlando's Cafe. I work 12 to 9 on Mondays and Tuesdays, so it kind of makes it easier. That way I'm there for my shift, and it kind of lets me learn more on the job site and then be able to take my experience from my work and put it into my class. I love it. I love it. And you're getting high school credit for that. You're getting paid like a regular employee. Um, and, and you're getting some valuable work experience under your belt as well. Yes. Putting a little money away for college, I hope. Yes, definitely. Your mom and dad will be proud, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Spencer, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about you, please. Uh, well, after I finished with high school, I plan to go into the uh, agricultural aspect of things. Uh, I'm doing the horticulture and turf care class because it's the closest thing I could find without transferring schools Okay. to uh, getting into farming with what we deal with with pesticides and herbicides and stuff like that in my senior year. And you are learning a lot in that class about Absolutely. plants and horticulture, yeah. seeds, all that sort of stuff, right? Yep. Okay. And so is, is the goal for you, 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 you had said when I first met you, you had talked about farming. Yes. Um, industrial farming, is that, is that the term you used? Uh, that's a term for it. I mean, I consider it like large-scale cereal crops, stuff like uh, wheat, rye, soybeans, corn, all the big industry in, in farming. 
I joke around saying Archer Daniels Midland, but it actually is. It is kind of like that, right? Yeah. It's like a big, big yeah, farming absolutely. operation. Wow, that's that's phenomenal. And and you're going to grow different crops, or do you have one specific crop that you're into? Uh, the current farm I work for now, or I am partially employed with, we do a lot of soybeans. That's the main crop we have. We farm about I think 900 acres with the soybeans Holy a smokes. year. Okay. Um, another farm that. I'm associated with. We do a lot of hunting for. Uh, they do a lot of corn and soybeans. They have close to, I think, two thousand acres worth of land. Holy crap! Okay, yeah. so you got big plants. This is. Uh, yeah. This is not just. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Yeah. Let me check out this and see what happens. You've you've come into this program with a big with a big goal. Absolutely. Good. I hope we I hope he'll get help get you there. So I know. Also, in that class, Mr. Birdsall has given you a lot of responsibility. You're somewhat of a leader in the class. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Um, Glad to have you with us. Thank you. Keep up the good work. I will. And last but certainly not least, Marissa. Um, Hello. It's my it's my understanding you have some sort of a joke that you're going to start off with. Oh yeah, I do. Can I use your paper actually? Sure. All right. So, what color is this paper? White. What do cows drink? Milk. Do they? No, they don't <laughs> drink milk. That's it. <laughs> yes. That's <a> joke. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they drink milk. I don't know. Oh, here or is goes. that some sort of cannibalism? You're here turning here into goes. Silverman. <laughs> <laughs> Cows drink water, don't they? Yes, they do. Water. Yes. I water. gotta use my I say water. my podcast voice. Although we're all yeah, we're all Central South Jersey. <laughs> yeah. we, we're allowed to say water here. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, okay, Marissa. So when I first met you, Marissa, and yes. you came to the you came to the uh, Culinary Arts Academy. You were taken like French or Italian. You were in like Algebra two when you were a fetus. Um, you're, you're a very good student. I don't want to embarrass yes, you a little bit, yeah. but so, so, um, talk about your experiences coming up through the ranks here. And now you are, uh, quite a leader in your class as well. Let's hear yes. about, hear about that. Yeah. So coming into freshman year, I was taking algebra two. So they actually had, um, some of the teachers like work with me, um, while my class was taking algebra one so that I could take like the same levels. And then, um, I switched into, some of the STEM classes when they moved over here my sophomore year to take pre-calculus and get like a whole different experience um, being with different students. And it was really helpful too, to to um, have a different environment other than just like straight culinary all the time. So you got to meet a whole bunch of different yeah, students. Yeah, it was super cool. Wow. All right. Awesome. So you, you came in here ahead of the game academically. Yes. And you, uh, you found a way to, to meet all those other needs. Mm -hmm. um, taking, taking classes a little bit ahead of some of your peers. Um, what are the college classes you're going to take this coming spring? Um, I'm going to take English 101 and Calculus. Wow. Okay. Um, and then tell me a little bit about the restaurant. Um, so the Academy is running a restaurant Mondays and Tuesdays we prep and then we're open Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in the afternoons. And it's just like a full service restaurant with a menu, just, um, we have the class running, like, servers, bussers, mm -hmm. a host. And then in the back, we have, like, the line all set up. So we have, like, an appetizer station, cold prepare. And then there's, like, the desserts. And then there's just the regular line where we have everyone. When we get an order in, it's like, oh, we got pork tenderloin. So then, okay, I got the sides for that. I got the main dish. And then, like, I'll fix the sauce. Like, just, stuff like that. Just like a real restaurant. Yeah. I've, I've eaten there. Uh, Dr. Fazzone yes. and I had lunch there. He had the salmon. It looked incredible. I had a nice chicken Caesar. Delicious. That's great. That's, that's awesome. And any Mo can come and come into this place off well, the street? Well, we do have reservations on the MCTS website. So okay. um, parents and, like, other people who reach out to the website, they can just come in for a reservation. Terrific. You've also been able to be a part of the Nottingham community with uh, uh, cheerleading and stuff like that, yes. too? Good. You still got friends back there? I do, actually. One of my best friends. Um, she's lived down the street from me my whole life, but I've never been friends with her until cheerleading. So, yeah, yeah it's crazy. Spencer, you, any, any, any trouble uh, seeing, your, seeing your buddies back at South? You have lunch with them? You yeah. Still, I mean, still a part of that community? Yeah, I still keep a couple of friends, but it... It's complicated, but I do have friends there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jess, you go, you're playing lacrosse, of course. Yes. I mean, this, this season hasn't started, of course, but uh, you still have all your, uh, all your peeps back at, uh, back at Hopewell? Yeah, I have all my lax bros and bras at Hopewell still. Lax bros and bras. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, good. I would like to, uh, I would like to uh, 
enhance this episode by playing a little game called Get to Know Me. All right? Okay. With the three of you. I'm just going to ask you rapid fire questions. I don't want you to think about the answers too much. Um, just do your best here, okay? Uh, for example, I'll, I'll, I'll go to our, our Culinary Academy student first with okay. a food related question. Would you rather have unlimited sushi for life or unlimited tacos for life? Unlimited tacos. That was too easy. She didn't even have to like think sushi. about answering. I'm with her. <laughs> Same question. He says he's with her? Yep, tacos. All right. 100%. All three said tacos. Unanimous. Tacos right. is so much better. Write that Raw down, fish producer Nick. That's just not it. <laughs> Wait till you get a little bit older. A little bit older. You'll. Uh, you, you'll like that idea a little no, bit. No way. All three of you, once again, um, would you rather go, we'll start with Jess, would you rather go 30 days without your phone or your entire life without dessert? Entire life without dessert. I don't really have a sweet tooth. Okay. 30 days without my phone. I don't use it much anyway. And now you get to have dessert for the rest of your life. Exactly. 30 days without my phone. Interesting. Okay. Oh, split I'm the black sheep split of the Split decision. <laughs> this is like, I, I must have my phone. Um, all right, here's a great one with, uh, I got a, a sports person here, but I'd like you all to answer, please. Um, would you rather be the best player on a horrible team or the worst player on a great team? Spencer. Worst player on a great team. Worst player on the great team. Worst player on the great team. All three. Once again, unanimous. All right. Um, start with our, uh, with, our, <laughs> with our culinary student once again. Which celebrity chef would you most like to make you dinner? Gordon Ramsay. I want him to yell at me. You want that? You <laughs> yeah. want Gordon Ramsay to yell at you? Very It'd good. It'd be an honor. Anyone else? I'm with same thing, Gordon Ramsay, mainly because my brother had a filet that was like $75, and I want that without having to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Gordon Ramsay, because that's the only chef I know oh. off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have just uh, stuck with the culinary kit for that. Um, <laughs> two more questions for you guys. Who or where would you haunt if you were a ghost? Ooh. Jess Cedor, don't think about it. Go for it. I would haunt my parents at my house <laughs> just so they know they didn't get rid of me, <laughs> that they're stuck with me forever. Very good. I hope mom and dad listen to this. <laughs> years from now when something breaks or something like that, they'll be like, it's the ghost of Jess. Uh, Metal Land Stadium, that way I don't have to pay to go to a Jets game. You're getting a lot of things for free out of this, uh, <laughs> out of this quiz, Spencer. Very good. Marissa. Paris, scare all the lovers. Ooh. Ooh, that would be funny. One. Wow. That's a, a big couple's, area, too. Couples kissing under the Eiffel Tower. Ah. And you'd scare them. <laughs> Interesting. That's Sounds a little, fun. That's a little twisted. Um, last but not least, what is something weird that you recommend everyone tries at least once? Spencer. Crickets. What? Crickets. <laughs> the game of crickets? No, the food. Oh, try to eat crickets? Eat crickets. You liked them. Yeah, a little bit, but okay. it was an interesting experience. All right. Are what? they, like, con like crunchy? Yes, very crunchy. Oh. Because <laughs> they you. dry them out, and they put, like, seasoning on them, and they can, they can be good. <laughs> All right. I'll try them. Go ahead, Jess. Um, something weird that someone should try. I would say going to <laughs> a restaurant that serves a food that you've never had before. Hmm. Like, try to get a new sense of someone else's lifestyle. Okay. Very nice. Very, very grown up there. Very mature. Oh, sorry. Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> you recommend everyone try tofu at least once? Yeah. And you agree that it's something weird? It is. <laughs> okay. Very weird. You've answered my question. All three of you chose something to eat. That's very interesting. Food is the best thing they ever. They say away you not? to a teenager's heart is through their stomach. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Definitely demonstrated that. Oh, yeah. Um, I really want to thank you guys for joining us and being such a, a big part of our school community. We love having you here. Keep up the great work, all three of you. And uh, we're going to wrap it up uh, right now. I invite everyone listening uh, within the sound of my voice to uh, uh, check us out on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Look at our YouTube channel. There's videos on there that you're going to love, um, fun videos made by the students and stuff like that. Um, please share this podcast with a friend um, and apply now if you haven't done it already. The classes are filling up fast. MCTS.edu. Click the drop down for Apply Now 2021 school year. Um, until then, on behalf of myself, and my uh, sorely missed absent partner, Mr. Nash, as well as Jess, Spencer, Marissa, and producer Nick MacGyver-Sikowski, I invite you to discover your passion and unlock your future. <laughs> <laughs>